How many plant species in your area? I'm guessing a thousand plus. And how many of those do you know? Want to instantly know the scientific name of every species in your area? Well, I taught myself how to name about 500 of the most common plants in my area on site, and anyone can do similar. Your brain is built for it. Uh, I recommend the Oider method. <laughs> It's mostly just pattern recognition, and foraging societies all do this, creating naming systems of hierarchical classification similar to modern phylogenetic taxonomy. Indigenous people name folk taxa, or groups of similar species. For example, the Vashai of the Pinema means grasses and all grass-like plants. And such folk naming species often go down to the subspecies level. Uh, modern culture is so far from nature that we have to consciously expose ourselves to it and learn the names of things purposefully. And this is why learning scientific names is important, because they're universal, unique identifiers nested within groups of similar species. So Ash's juniper is one of many junipers, which are in the cypress family, which is in the group of conifers, etc. These classifications are based upon observations of commonalities. The first key to plant ID is observe. Try sitting in one spot in a field and just counting every species there. Just observe closely and you'll probably see things you've never knew existed. And you start doing this everywhere as a habit and you don't need to ID anything. Just note the differences between species and you'll internally develop your plant pattern recognition skills. But at some point, start to actually identify species. Woody species are generally easier to ID than small herbs and grasses, but let your interest drive you. If you don't have a plant ID expert to tell you, you'll need some good resources. As a first pass for plant ID, I highly recommend using iNaturalist. If you take good photos, it can do an excellent job of narrowing down the possibilities or just identifying it outright. It's not a definitive source, though. It creates a log of every species you've seen and allows you to explore identified species in your specific area. For each entry, try to take clear photos of the leaves and branching structure, any flowers or fruits, and the entire plant. Try to isolate it from surrounding plants. Using your hand as a, or a paper as a background to, or to assist focus can be very helpful. Click on the species name to load ID suggestions and similar species in your area will appear and you can do a side-by-side -side comparison. It's helpful to do this on the spot. You can also just take a bunch of photos and upload them later if your photos have geolocation on. If you're not sure, you can select a genus if it looks similar to others in it, or a plant family, or just plant, and once posted, other iNaturalist users may suggest an ID for you. But to really pin down the ID, uh, I'd use a field guide for my area or a manual, as well as a variety of online databases to cross-check for other possibilities. Field guides often lack less common species, but you can get comprehensive manuals for your area. Resources I use are in the description or comments. Now try to identify every single unknown species within the limits of your patience every time you go outside. And after you identify one once, make it a practice to mentally repeat its species name every time you see it. It will eventually become an almost unconscious habit. Rustra lobata, Forestiera pubescens, Berberis trifoliolata, Elex decidua, Juniperus ashe, Bacchus neglecta. Now this repetition is the key to instantly knowing the name of every species. Obviously this skill is impressive to most people who may only know a dozen or so species by their common names, but it also allows you to accurately research the plant, finding its uses, location, care, history, and similar plants. It'll start to be exciting every time you find a species you've never seen before, identifying something and discovering it's rare, or building your mental database of plant knowledge. You'll gain a deeper appreciation for the variety of species as well as variations within species from habitat to habitat and season to season. And make your time outside more fascinating and fulfilling and improve your mental health and memory. So uh, next time you see a bunch of green, ask yourself, who are these other beings in my environment and what should I call them?